My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Check this out. We've got one of the most popular TV car icons of all of them. It's the Starsky and Hutch 1976 Ford Gran Torino. This is a car built by Ford as a limited edition. Uh, here's the Marty report to prove it. And we have two build sheets and right on there it says Starsky and Hutch. Uh, and it says so on the Marty report as well. To make it even more rare, only 22 cars were made red with the white interior of all the Gran Torinos made, only 22 of them were these colors. Uh, so pretty special car. And this binder full of documentation, this is all receipts for the restoration that was just done to it. It's a 351 motor, it's rebuilt, rebuilt trans, got a new air conditioning system, uh, all new paint, so beautiful car. Go to volocars.com, uh, that's where you can read the specs, study the pictures. You'll find the price tags, including a monthly finance option as well on every car that we have for sale. And you might be surprised at how affordable this car really is. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. What you need to do is get the red gumball light that plugs into the cigarette lighter. They sell those online. They're not even expensive. I think they're under 50 bucks. Uh, just hold uh, sticks on top of the magnet. So uh, I got this car from a guy. He must have a, a liking for these because over the years I've bought two or three from him. Uh, this car he restored between like 2016 and 2020 uh, based on what I see on the receipts. Um, it doesn't have very many miles on it since it's been finished. It's a really nice amateur restoration. So the car shows really well. It's not, you know, at the high end of things, uh, but it's also a very affordable car. Underneath, he did put in new floor pan sections. It's in the receipts there, and you can see where they put them in. Um, you look up at the motor, it's clean because it was rebuilt. You can see the fuel pump is new, the starter is new. Uh, the C4 automatic transmission was professionally rebuilt. The invoice was like two grand. Uh, plus it has a new torque converter as an additional uh, invoice. The drive shaft's been rebuilt, new U-joints. Um, the fuel sending unit was replaced. The brakes were redone, they're drumming back, they were recut, uh, disc in front. Uh, brake lines, transmission lines were replaced, dual exhaust system was replaced. Uh, so it's had a lot of, you know, the work's been done. Oh, complete front end rebuild kit. Uh, the steering box has been rebuilt. Uh, springs, shocks, all that's been replaced. The paint job, uh, $14,500 in uh, receipts for the body and paint work. It was media blasted down to bare metal. Uh, they did replace one full quarter panel, and, and then the other side they did a half panel. Um, the car was uh, sprayed with the urethane sealer primer, and then it was given the base coat and a clear coat. The white stripe is painted on. It's the proper dimensions with a thin black pinstripe, uh, and the paint is polished really smooth and glossy. So let's check out the body. Uh, this is all real good and smooth and straight and square. I don't see any damage. There's no rust. This corner sticks up just a, a hair. Uh, this is all straight, smooth, no issues. A little nick right there behind the tire. And all of this is straight, no damage, no rust. The door fits real nice. This is all real good up here. I'm looking at the body now. You know, straight. No door dings, bottom of the fenders all nice and clean. Hood, big giant hoods, all straight, fits nice and square. Yeah, this is, uh, this is all real good. The body's all 
real nice and the paint is really super glossy. I mean, I, I can see minor imperfections, little little dimples or uh, you know, just minor imperfections, but it is slick. It's got the racing mirrors, has a new windshield. The original bumpers were re-chromed. It is missing the one rubber strip right here. All the trim was sent out to a professional company, same company that did the plating. All the trim was polished and straightened. Uh, <clears throat> the antenna was replaced. The door handles were replaced. Emblems were replaced as the racing mirrors. Yeah, all this trim has been restored. Back glass is original, has a couple grinder marks on it. Tail lights. It's like $700 for a set of tail lights he paid. Uh, rear bumpers re-chromed. All this trim is real nice. And then, of course, it has the slotted uh, polished aluminum mags. BF Goodrich tires uh, were replaced. There's a receipt for those as well. So the car presents itself real nicely. And, of course, it's going to be recognized. People are not going to be judging it for a minor imperfection. It's just a fun car to have and to drive around with and to go to car shows. It's going to get attention like you will not believe. So let's open it up and uh, check out the inside. Great news. Before I open the trunk, look what's on the roof that was sitting in the car. That just makes it. Uh, but in the trunk here, uh, looks like we do have a spare. I don't see a jack. I uh, threw a new mat in here. The trunk, I they might have put a new trunk floor in there, and they put this this uh, sealer or sound deadener on top. It's kind of a little bit ugly, but the trunk, it's solid. Maybe clean it up, a nice uh, coat of spatter paint, detail up that spare. But it does come with uh, all the colors that were used on the car, a little extra touch-up. You can see under the trunk lid in the jam is painted real nice, new weather strip. This could use a little more cleaning up in the trunk. So the door jams are painted real shiny. Weather strips were replaced. The win window seals on top of the doors were replaced. Door panels are new. Uh, they did a poor job of dyeing the armrests to match. Uh, you can see 10 shades uh, different white, but all that's new. The dash has a new plastic cap over the dash pad. The instrument panel's in really nice shape, not cut up or broken. Original style steering wheels, real nice. The turn signal lever and the turn signal switch were replaced. Also, the headlight switch, blower switch, dimmer switch were all replaced. Uh, according to the receipts, it has a new painless wiring harness in the car. Over here, it has a retro stereo uh, was installed. It's got the bucket seats with the center console. That's pretty rare. A lot of these were bench seats. Uh, the shift handle is replaced. Uh, the bushings uh, were replaced. The seats have real nice firm cushion. And they've been reupholstered real nicely. Let me open the back seat. Oh, where's the lever? Way down here. You see the back seat was all reupholstered. The side panels are new. Again, someone uh, should match these armrests. It's super easy. You can match it and spray it yourself or take it to a body shop. Uh, but everything in here is replaced. The head, headrest cushions are nice and firm. The headliner, the sail panels, the rear speaker shelf, the visors, the little rubber tips on the visors, all that's replaced. Carpet was replaced. Yeah, read the description on the website. The list is really long of new parts and things that were done to this car. So it is a 351 Windsor motor. <clears throat> it was rebuilt. A new distributor, cap and wires, new alternator. It is a factory air-conditioned car, but it was completely 
updated with a classic auto air system. Uh, even inside, the heater controls are uh, modern levers with electric instead of cables. Uh, it has power steering, it has power brakes. Uh, the radiator is new. I think the shroud is new. Uh, batteries bolted down properly. Real nice running car. It's got an electronic ignition. That's all new. Hood insulation is new. Yeah, I'm forgetting. Uh, you know, like the water pump, but the list just went on and on when I was reading through the receipts. Just so many items that are new. The washer pump on the the wipers uh, were replaced. You know, and owning a car like this is just so much fun. It's so recognizable. Uh, you're going to just, everywhere you go, stoplights, getting ice cream, going to a car show, you're going to be the center of attention. I don't care what's parked next to you. It could be a $100,000 Corvette. You're going to steal all the attention. Uh, overall restoration, like I said, I, I think it's very impressive. It's not a $100,000 car, so don't expect it to be that. Door shut nice. Again, the cushions in the seats are really good. Uh, bucket seats, uh, working air conditioning, rebuilt motor, rebuilt trans. The list goes on and on of new parts that were put in the car. Uh, boils down to a couple, couple things. A rubber strip up here, uh, which we were having a hard time finding. Uh, getting a couple pieces dyed the right color white. Uh, putting this fresh uh, coat of spatter paint in the trunk, you buy that's in a spray can. You could spend an afternoon on this car and bring it up to the next notch. Uh, but everything that has been done so far is really great. The receipt for the body and paint was $14,500. Uh, so there's a lot more money invested in the car than what we're asking for it. It is one of the actual Ford produced Starsky and Hutch cars. This is not a car that someone just put stripes on it. Uh, it is a rare limited edition, very recognizable car. So go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where you can talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression. They'll answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you with the financing at volocars.com. Hope you enjoy the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.